when you think about investment advice that you've heard over time from people like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Ray Dalio, what do you hear over and over again? If you take away all the technical analysis and you keep it simplistic, you typically hear the same advice being given, which is buying low, selling high, diversifying, timing is key, and playing the long game. And although there's a sort of an oversimplification to that, it actually makes a lot of sense, right? If you're gonna buy a stock, the best time to buy it is when it's relatively low or underpriced. And then when you sell it is when it goes up. If you're going to maximize profits on a house, you typically wanna sell your house when the market is doing really well and it, it's peaked in its value. If you're going to be flipping a home, you really wanna buy an undervalued asset, invest into it, and then when it goes up in price, you sell, right? So why is it that we don't treat our careers the same way we treat investments? At the end of the day, the two things that most people want out of their careers is for one, it to be meaningful, and two, for it to be lucrative. And in order for that to happen, we have to begin thinking about our careers like in You make no mistake, your career is an asset right if you treat it like one and the best way to do that is begin applying the same principles that that go into other assets like stocks and homes and and apply that to your own career right think about your career over the long term diversify your skills sell when it's high and I want to jump into what that means 95% of the time when someone wants to come and work with us or join Six Figure Academy, it's usually because one of the few things has happened. They're out of a job, they've been laid off, um, they hate their boss, they feel undervalued. And when I look into their situation, I always find the same thing, that they were usually with one company for a lot longer than they should have been. Um, and most people realize this when it's too late, but the longer you stay with one company, and this is not always the case, but in a lot of cases, the longer you stay with one company, the more they begin taking you for granted, and the opportunities you hoped you could have got with that company start to decrease. Um, and think about if that's ever actually happened to you. There's a few things that you wanna be doing to avoid making sure that that never happens to you. So one, it's diversifying your skills and always adding new ones. Two, um, looking for new jobs every so often, and three, taking advantage of timing. If you haven't seen this interview, I highly recommend that you do because that's exactly what Sonia did to go from 15 bucks an hour to 200K. She played the long game, she kept adding new skills. In addition to Sonia, this week alone, what is it, Wednesday? We had one client get an offer from Google, another client got an offer from Amazon, a third client got an interview at Amazon, a fourth client just yesterday got a promotion after only working there three weeks. And last week you saw VJ, another client of ours, who got a seven-figure offer, and we're not doing anything magical. All we're doing is taking advantage of timing. This quarter is probably, Q1 in any year is the best time to be looking for a job. So if you're out of work, obviously you should be looking for a job. But if you're working for a company and you think you're underpaid, you think you're undervalued, you think you could be doing more, then I highly recommend that you begin thinking about your career like an investment, become proactive, don't be reactive and wait for things to happen to you as you saw in Sonia's interview. Um, and check out what we're doing. Uh, I'm not saying you need to be a client of ours, 